There's pink, red and white, and of course the traditional red. Poinsettia signal the approach of Christmas. These small pot plants are native to Mexico, but poinsettias did not start out as a decorative potted plant for the holiday season. It was first used as a cup flower because poinsettias uh, naturally, in their natural environment, get quite big, a uh, six to eight feet tall tree. Unlike many potted plants, the flower takes a back seat to another part of the plant. The flower of the poinsettia is the very small part of the plant in the very center, and the bracts or the modified leaves are the ones that actually get the color. While red is the traditional color, breeders have been experimenting with different color bracts in different shapes. One of the first horticulturists to create different colors had ties to Louisiana. His breeding program involved a laboratory that played an important part in constructing the world's first atomic bomb. John Love would bring the plants to Oak Ridge, Tennessee, where they would radiate the plants, and this caused mutations and thus different coloration of the bract. With more than 200 options to choose from, making a selection can be daunting. But Keeney offered some simple advice for selecting one. If there aren't very many leaves on the plant, it may it probably is not going to last too long because it's not going to be able to continue to photosynthesize. Another common mistake is overwatering the poinsettia. Water them very little, maybe once a week. Uh, keep them in a, a, a bright space. If you have them a more sunny space, you're going to have to water them more often. Keeney said three to four ice cubes a week will generally be enough water to keep the plants healthy. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Craig Gotro reporting.